Good morning, everyone. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm the Speed King. It's Friday morning, the day before the Travers. As always, please turn on your closed captions. And remember, tip sheets are available for today, Friday, at uh, Saratoga and All Stakes Tip Sheet. And of course, on Saturday, Saratoga's Full Card All Stakes Tip Sheet, which is our best value, in my opinion. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. All stakes tip sheets are 15 bucks. Great, great way to support us. Well, we're going to try to get in some of these races that we've just been really busy. We're going to look at the Sword Dancer, which is race number 11, the race right before the Traverse Stakes on Saturday. It is a great one on the grass, a mile and a half. It is a marathon. Hey, it's the four-year-olds and up, right? 750,000, a field of seven. Going to get through these real fast. I'm going to give you our top two or three picks in the race for sake of time and to get it out for sure. We're going to go right to the number one horse. Now, Soldiers Rising. Well, Soldier Rising, first of all, is a square price at five to one. I think that is an overlay, if you ask me, from the morning line. Now, he doesn't win as much as I like uh, him to. Uh, Soldier Rising, uh, only four wins from 18 starts in seven seconds. The nice thing is he always competitive and hit the board, but I like to see him win a little more in three seconds. This five-year-old is by Frankel, who is an extremely, extremely great uh, a horse in his own right and serious great sire when it comes to turf runners. Soldier Rising. Uh, is trained by Christopher Clement, who's clicking at 18%, got the hot, red hot Jose Ortiz on. Now, this horse had a horrible, horrible trip in the Bowling Green on the grass at a mile and three eighths right here at Saratoga on July uh, 30th, some 27 days ago. The horse was bumped very hard around the 516, somewhere in there, was checked, lost all chances, right? Um, Again, so this horse hasn't run a top effort since June, so should be fresh, fit, and fast, okay? I know the horse should be in the money for sure, the number one horse, but I think I would like to see this one in the winner circle on Saturday. Number one horse, Soldier Rising, we think he's sitting on a big, big race for sure, and five to one is very, very easy to take. Our second pick, well, I would be remiss if I didn't go to the old timer. That's right, the old channel maker by English Channel for sure. Trained by my guy, that's right, it's the Hall of Famer Billy Mott and his Manny Franco in the arm. Well, this one came out of the Bowling Green too. Went gate to wire, he wasn't involved in that checking and bumping of Soldier Rising. Why? He was on the front end and he didn't have time for that nonsense, the number six horse. Uh, channel maker, right? Will be the speed of the race, but he won't get away easy because there's a couple other speed horses outside of him and inside him, so they're going to be droop, droop, drooped around him for sure, but that doesn't change the fact that this old-timer, right? Something like the old Casa Creed out of the Billy Mark barn. This old-timer, nine years old, uh, Again, just keeps running and running and running. Ten wins from 54 starts. The old iron horse like John Henry. Six seconds and five thirds. We always root for Channel Maker if for no other reason we see our older horse at nine who's healthy, still very competitive, and obviously loves to run. So our second pick in here would be the old Channel Maker for sure. And our third pick, I think it would be a little disingenuous if we didn't put the seven horse in there, Stone Age, right, at six to five. Well, coming off of a long, long layoff, 189 days, six to five, hello. It is the horse is bred beautifully by Galileo. This four-year-old only has two wins from 15 starts and four seconds and two-thirds, trained by Chad Brown. Now, if anyone could get these horses on the beam off of a long return is Chad Brown. This horse came by way of Aiden O'Brien from overseas um, and now it's under Chad Brown's toolage. So you probably think the Stone Age at six to five is going to be kind of viable. I hate the price of six to five off of a 189 uh, day layoff. So I'll make them my third choice. And I guess if I had to round out uh, super and it's such a small field. It would probably be the number two horse. So for us in the Swords Standards, grade one, hey, 
race number 11 right before the Travers. Maybe we can put some doubles together, put your opinion together in the 11th race with, hey, the Travers uh, horses that you like. That's always a nice bet, you know, the daily double. Hey, in the Sword Dancer, we love the Soldiers Rising, the number one. We love the value at five to one. Second is the old timer. Hey, the number six, the old channel maker, the nine-year-old, the veteran. And we round it out with the number seven, Stone Age. So for us, Swords Dancer, race number 11, one, six, seven, just like that. Let's see if we can get the number one horse with Ortiz around the racetrack for sure. Stay classy. Have a great, great weekend. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Help support us with our tip sheets. All the money goes back into our studio. Stay classy. Have a great, great weekend, y'all.